Hey folks, it is Josiah here. I want to do a quick little series on putting our models into production. Uh, it's going to be a series of four different short videos. Uh, the first, which is going to be this one, I'm going to cover the conceptual bits. Uh, that's really going to go over APIs. And then the second video is going to be uh, on creating useful functions. The third is going to be on turning your functions and model into an API. And the fourth is calling your own API. Um, so let's get started. Uh, there's a scenario, right? You've made a model in R and you want to enable other systems to use it in production. How do you put the model into production? The challenge. Other tools and systems that will leverage your model will not know R or be able to call it directly. So the solution here is to create a REST API that serves predictions from your model. And you're probably asking, okay, well, what actually is an API? Simply put, it is short for an application programming interface. APIs or application programming interfaces are a way for computers to talk to other computers. Um, and there are tons of different APIs, but the one we're gonna be talking about today are what's called a RESTful API. RESTful APIs speak HTTP. HTTP is short for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Um, and now you might be asking, okay, I, why? <laughs> like why an API? And the API is so useful for us is because all other software languages speak HTTP. Um, think of it as a universal language for computers. Another reason is that um, if you're serving a model or some sort of R functionality through an API and you wanna make changes to it, other systems are not really concerned about what's under the hood. All they have to do is make that request and then the API does what it's supposed to do and think of creating an API as a way of making a black box for your code. What is the anatomy of an API? Since we're gonna be using HTTP, we have to think about these in the context of a URL. So the, the first part of an API is what's called the host. You can think of this as where the API actually lives. Uh, and this is gonna be a fixed thing that's not gonna change. Think of this as like the web domain or, or the server address where you're gonna be going to. The next part, which is very, very important, is the endpoint. Endpoints are like a function. They determine what will happen, right? Um, so you can compare the host and the endpoint as like the package and the function. Right, so what what you will do is determinant uh, is determined upon which endpoint you go to, and then there is also um, optional parameters. So these will address varying parts of a request. Um, you can think of these as uh, function arguments. Right, these are not necessary. There are also other parts to an API request like headers and the body, but we're not going to be going over that. So the types of API requests, in general. Uh, each API endpoint has a different method of request, a different type of request that you can make. The two most common um, that you might see are going to be GET requests and POST requests. A GET request is used to retrieve data. It only takes parameters. Um, and that means all information that you can send in a GET request is going to be contained in the URL. Also, it's important to note that um, GET requests are gonna be limited by the maximum length of a URL string, right? A URL can't be 15,000 characters long, right? That's just obscene and ridiculous. So there's a bit of a limit there. And then also, since every bit of information that you're gonna be sending is contained within that URL, means you really shouldn't send sensitive data via get, okay? Uh, the next type of request is called a post request. Um, this is for sending data. In general, they should be used for modifying something or creating something. Uh, in my experience, the post requests are gonna be the most flexible request types that you're gonna see and arguably the most common. There are other types of requests, but uh, through this example, I'll only go over get. So other types of requests you might see are put, delete. I don't like deleting things, I don't trust myself, so I'm gonna stay away from those. Uh, there is head, patch, and there's also other kinds. Okay, so the next video we're going to be going over creating useful, useful functions. In the R space, we have to use functions to create APIs, so we'll be going over that. 